thick girl especially more bottom heavy than top heavy lord i don't got no kind of titties but if somebody wants to sponsor some for me let me know i'll leave my cash app below <laughs> anyway so um yeah i gotta get my life together so Hey y'all, thanks for coming back to watch another video. This is Ray. I appreciate you coming and checking me out again. Um, I'm trying to get my hair together, as you can see, and so I felt like it might be a good idea to kind of get ready a little bit and also um, film a video. My camera is up here today, so I might be looking up here, which is probably a different direction than um where i should be looking however i'm just trying to make sure that i multitask and get things accomplished pretty well anyway it's saturday i had a pretty good day today i actually went to the gym and it's funny because this morning i was like i am not going to go to the gym because i didn't feel like it i um pretty much work out like five or six days a week but um i usually try to find a rest day so i'll normally like walk around the neighborhood or something like that um just to try to do something so I won't be completely like being idle. But I decided to go to the gym this morning, right? And it's so funny because I feel like the days that I decide to go to the gym when I feel like I don't wanna go are usually the days that I have the best workout. So I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, number one, and um, there's a lot of us. And when I say a lot of us, young adults, young black people, who are definitely into their health and I love that right so when I went to the gym today and I don't know if it was because it was raining last night or what but the gym was usually packed and usually I get there pretty early so there's not a whole lot of people at the gym first thing in the morning but today they was oh man I was like oh okay and so normally I go to the gym so that I can look cute outside the gym I usually don't go to the gym so that I can be cute in the gym like I'm just not gonna do it number one and I, there was a time where I used to work out and I would come from work so like I would have a full face of makeup on um, but it's not good for your skin all the sweat and stuff and gets inside your pores so I'm not gonna do it on purpose um, and then number two I just don't have time for that like I came to handle business and to go home and to get look cute so that's kind of what it is but and um i was almost like dang like ray you should have filmed your workout because it was a really really good workout it's not i'm just not there quite yet where i feel comfortable with going into the gym and setting up shop i see people do it all the time i don't know if they vlog or if they're fitness experts i'm not really sure but um i just try to be respectful of people's space a lot of the times when i work out i'm like in my own little zone um trying to stay focused stay in the momentum work out handle business and i don't necessarily want somebody in there filming me so if somebody happens to get in the film like i wouldn't want anybody to feel any type of way anyway i'm gonna work through it normally the way that i work out is i i do my workouts in two parts and so i'll have like a upper body with a chest back arms abs and then i'll do a lower body and i'll do um glutes legs and um cardio so i always do cardio in every workout but i'm gonna try to figure something out when i work out in the mornings on the weekday i usually work out about an hour but on the weekends i can extend it i can take my time uh, i have more rest i have more energy you know what i mean so so usually my workouts a lot of hour and a half and this is the thing I don't want anybody to think that you have to go to the gym and have to you know break your neck and all this extra kind of stuff trying to work out you do not I don't know if I said this before though but my camera's up here so I'm looking up here it's probably not the right section to look at but I can see myself and so that's the reason why I'm doing that um anyway but yeah, you don't have to go into the gym and kill yourselves. And so there's a common misconception that you have to go and work out just for a ridiculous amount of time. You do not. Do a steady 30 minutes and build yourself up. I personally like the gym. So for me, it's not a big deal. I really look forward to going to the gym every day. So that's, it's a little bit different for me. But, but just remember, just be consistent, right? Consistency is key. Do a solid 30 minutes every day. If it's walking, if it's jogging, if it's a walk and a jog mix, if it's going to the gym, just be consistent eat clean whatever whatever anyway I wanted to come and um, film another video just because I do get a lot of questions about like fasting and working out now before I even started this YouTube channel which is not going to be solely based on like health but it's something that's important to me so that's the reason why it's easy
easy for me to film these type of videos right now especially because we're in quarantine there ain't shit else going on anyway so um i get a lot of questions about like fasting and about working out and there's a lot of common misconceptions about what it takes to fast or how you're supposed to fast so i kind of just wanted to come on here and hopefully give you guys a little bit of guidance on that while i'm trying to get my life together really quickly one of the things i'm gonna <laughs> try to start to do my little and my, i am not first of all let's just get into the whole makeup talk real quick i am not a makeup guru so this is not a get ready with me so y'all can see how ray does her makeup ray is not really wearing makeup right now i do feel in my eyebrows i got them microbladed last year which is probably one of the best decisions that i made in my life i had hair but my hair was just light so it just looked non-existent and then paired with the big forehead it was just like no so i got my eyebrows uh microbladed and i freaking love them i can't wait to get them done again but i do like to fill them in a little bit because over time they fade slightly so and I didn't get them as dark as I could have but next time I definitely will um, but I'm not, not really doing that when quarantine came around I was like okay let's work on your health let's work on saving money and let's work on your skin and so those are kind of the things that I've been doing since March mid-march because that's when the quarantine started anyway it was important to just kind of throw that out there so um, when quarantine first started really quickly so when I started to fast I didn't start to fast because I was trying to lose weight. I was already 181 pounds at the time and I've always been a thick girl, especially more bottom heavy than top heavy. Lord, I don't got no kind of titties, but if somebody wants to sponsor some for me, let me know. I'll leave my cash app below. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, I gotta get my life together. So. I thought that fasting would be a tool for me to save money because I was like, me and my son are going to be sitting here, my other son's in college, so I was like, me and my son are going to be sitting here and what we're not going to do is just be eating all the food and then initially there was so much scarcity behind if there was going to be enough food anyway, so I was trying to be very um, smart about how we were doing it and that's kind of how the fasting came and then the weight fell off, right? So initially, like the um, the gyms were open, you know what I mean? Like the gyms were open still for the first couple of weeks, at least in quarantine until they got shut down. And so I was just trying to play it smart because I really didn't know realistically what was going to happen, what we were looking at, you know what I mean, type of thing. So um, that was the that was what it was. And what I started to notice, because I always weigh myself every day anyway, is that, you know, I was losing weight, like, and it was really used to be, it was really used as a tool to save money. But then when I noticed, like, I was losing weight, I was like, okay, now I've always cooked. I've cooked for forever. Um, and I've always enjoyed cooking. But I was doing it more so because I wasn't in the office as much. I was at home with my son and he freaking loved it. So it, it worked out for me. But don't starve yourself. It's not necessary. So I'm going to say that if you decide to start fasting, which I honestly think that you should push yourself and see, um, that was really like the push that helped the weight come off. I cannot lie. It helped me so much because I was already working out, but the weight was just like coming off. And the way that I feel behind weight loss is a lot of the times when the weight comes off quickly like that, it's usually weight that didn't need to be on in the first place. So it was just eager for an opportunity to be able to fall off and it failed. So it was like, okay, it worked. So don't starve yourself. You don't have to start fasting at extreme measures. I fast for 16 hours now um, and I eat for eight. If you decide to start fasting and you're consistent with your regular regimen and you're consistent with at least getting in some type of exercise for 30 minutes a day the weight will come off get you a scale get you some little measuring tape from target or wherever that you need to go and that way you can measure your results literally i did not have a goal when i first started i am now 22 pounds down i weigh 159 i haven't weighed 159 in years um so i'm gonna see if i can push myself to lose 30 pounds we'll see but I'm steadily moving and I like the way that the results are pairing up and you know how things are looking so that would be my first recommendation the next thing is is when you fast you still have to be very mindful about what you eat fasting does not mean and my lashes are gonna dry up but fashion does not mean that you can just fast and then eat whatever you want to eat during those eight hours and it also doesn't mean that during those eight hours you barely eat 
because if you don't eat sorry i'm trying to put my lash on if you don't eat then what's going to happen is your body is going to store the fat because it's like man i don't know when i'm going to eat again so it's going to work against you so just be mindful of that and i think that if you eat meat keep eating meat if you only eat fish keep eating fish if you eat and you're a vegetarian keep doing that like i think that you can make whatever your meal plan is work but just be consistent and just be mindful so that you can get the results that you want because it will happen fairly quickly if you do the right thing if you don't do the right thing it's not gonna help i would also say eliminate sodas i think i said this before in another um video try to get you some um what do they call like some soda water sometimes you just need that little bit of something that's going to make you burp you know what i mean and if that's the case soda water is going to do the trick but it's not going to do any harm to you one of the shows that i love watching and i have loved watching for a very long time is this show called my 600 pound life with dr nozardin oh my god i love him and a lot of those people that are on that show, they have a heavy consumption of like soda and all the, the carbon and stuff and soda, man, it blows people up. And then all the sugar, a lot of people think that you gain weight by eating things that have that are high in fat. But no, like you need the fats. Um, it's the sugars. It's the candies. It's the sodas. It's the ice creams. It's the cookies that are putting on the weight more than anything that has the fat. So get rid of the soda for a little bit. Cut it for 30 days and just see how that works out. You cut those things out, I promise you, you are going to see the results for sure without a question. Just give it 30 days. You know what I mean? Like, just give it 30 days. The next thing that I would highly recommend too is just to get rid of dairy. Ah, it wasn't until I started going to a dermatologist that I realized how bad dairy was like messing up my skin. And I'm not even like a big milk person, but I definitely like yogurts and stuff like that. Yogurt, and they do have dairy-free yogurt. It's not as thick and creamy, but it tastes decent. Um, it will, oh my God, my skin was horrible. I had all kind of cystic acne, but at the same time, it was messing up my stomach too. So just be mindful of that. I would recommend to get rid of dairy. Use oat milk, use almond milk. I like vanilla almond milk myself it's good for myself it's good for my skin my son drinks it with his cereal or has it with the cereal and um, it just made such a big difference in the way that my body digests things it made a huge difference there so I would recommend cutting that two more things the next thing is just make sure that you follow some people on your social media that give you motivation. If you're not someone that's easily motivated to go to the gym, don't know what to cook to maintain like a healthy diet during this period of time, follow people that do because that's going to help you. I can't tell you how many different meal ideas I get from different people or different exercises. That's actually one of the reasons that I like going to the gym is because I get a chance to see people and the way that they look and the way their bodies looking so when I see them working on certain machines or doing certain weights or exercises I'm like oh maybe I should or sometimes I'll just go up to them and ask and say hey why are you doing this because maybe it's something that I can incorporate and then it can help sculpt my body so that's the one the last thing is I guess this would be number five or six I'm not really sure I kind of forgot but just be consistent my daddy used to tell me that be persistent and be consistent and if you do those things and I promise you you will get results like I really hope that you guys attempt to fast for 30 days cut out the things that are necessary the alcohols the sodas the sugars and stuff like that for 30 days the time goes by so quickly walk for 30 days eat clean for 30 days and come back and let me know how you felt like how it worked for you you know what i mean i promise you it's going to be good don't cheat yourself don't do it because i'm telling you it might seem like it's a big journey to do or to start. I was never athletic, so I get it. Um, but once you get into the swing of things, then I think that you'll really start seeing like, wow, like I like this better than I thought. Wow, I'm seeing results sooner than I thought. And you'll start to motivate people around. You'll start to really motivate people around you and it just is a good feeling. It just feels good to be healthier, to be lighter, to look better in your clothes, to be more comfortable in your skin. You know what I mean? Like, just do what you need to do to get there. I really hope that um, you guys chime in and let me know 
what's going on how things are going if you guys have any questions or anything like that let me know now listen i told you this is a quick get ready with me type of thing while i get my life together i don't do much more i'll probably put on some gloss i might put a little concealer underneath my eyes should i decide to step out of the house and do anything but it's quarantine so the chances are slim but this is pretty much it i just wanted to film something a little bit different while i was getting ready um anyway like comment and subscribe uh, tell people about the video share this video share this information with people I know that sometimes people have a very rough start trying to figure out how to start where to start what they should do I'm pretty friendly people DM me all the time and ask me questions and I give them the best advice that I can it's really simple but you just have to start anyway here I am today let's see I got on my little my little waist trainer nothing too special um i might straighten my hair but that's really it happy weekend you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video